one of the things I love about micro nuggets is it gives me an opportunity to cover tips and tricks that there really just wasn't time or the opportunity to cover in one of my official courses here at CBT Nuggets. This micro nugget is one of those moments. There is something called God Mode in Windows 8.1 and other previous flavors of Windows, and I'm going to shed light on exactly what this is. I'll just give you a heads up right now. It's not all as impressive as it sounds, but we will take a look at this in this particular micro nugget. This would have been in my supporting Windows 8.1 class if we had had the time. It turns out that God Mode is a way to see aspects of the control panel in an Explorer window. It'll bring together a whole bunch of settings in a nice categorized list. So in order to see this God mode, all you have to do is right click the desktop and say new and then folder. Now the folder name can be absolutely anything. You'll see most examples say God mode, but it really doesn't matter. I could say like all settings. Now this is the part that matters. You must follow whatever text name you give with a period and then you must paste in the particular hex code for this particular setting. So that has to be exact. So again, whatever verbiage you want, the period and then these exact code in, enclosed in those curly brackets. So in order to grab that code, you can pause this video right now and write it down or just do a Google search on Windows God Mode and you can get this code to paste in. When I hit enter because of that particular string that I utilized in the name, notice the icon changes to a control panel type icon. And when we launch, we see we have this convenient location for a whole bunch of settings. Action Center, Administrative Tools, Autoplay, Credential Manager, Devices and Printers, Ease of Access Center, Internet Options. And so now we just have a really convenient way to access a large variety of settings. So one of the things I may want to do is uninstall a program. And I can do that very easily from here. Change the location settings. Again, we double click one of these options and we go right to that particular location inside the overall control panel itself. So this is God mode and there are actually other shortcuts we can make on our desktop like this. Let me go ahead and show you a list of those. So as you can see, there are many special folders. Here we have our God mode, and then we could have a special folder with location settings, biometrics, power settings, icons and notifications, credentials and logins, programs and features, default program, all net frameworks and comm libraries, all networks for current connection, network, my computer, printers, application connections, firewall and security, and finally performance. Again, you could, I suppose, pause this video and copy down the names that you are interested in, but let me go ahead and give you a URL where you can find them on the web and you can easily copy and paste them into your folder name right from there. So your simple search to get that list so you can copy and paste is a Google search. Uh, do your site colon pcworld.com to restrict it to PC World and then do a search on God Mode. The second link is Windows 7 God Mode Tips, Tricks, Tweaks. And if you scroll down in this article, you will see that list of special folders that you can create. Notice it even gives you some code that you could utilize to automate their creation in a special folders folder for yourself. So in this micro nugget, we took a look at God Mode and some related tweaks that you can make to your Windows interface. I sure hope this nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.